in Dawson County. You can reach me by telephone number 706-216-2039 at my home or at the office is 770-664-1668 and that's Data Tech Communications in Roswell. Or you can page me at area code 404-566-4625. I would like to introduce you to Dawsonville and some of the area that is developing very rapidly. This article was uh, out in August, the end of August 1997, indicating the dynamic growth uh, at the intersection of Highway 53 and 400 in that section. The Premium Outlet Mall developed about a half a mile to a mile south of that intersection about uh, two years ago. The property that we're talking about is just north of this intersection of 53 and 400. In the right hand corner at the bottom, uh, just out of view, starts the property that we will show you in just a minute the outline and the uh, boundaries of. You're currently looking at the intersection of Highway 53 and 400. To the left, and at that intersection is the Kroger, and to the right is the Hardee's and uh, Kangaroo. This is the intersection of 53 and 400, right there. That's going to the west, and now it's going to the east, going south, and now going north on 400. The land that we were talking about is just off the corner on the right-hand side bottom. Going north. This is coming up on the Premium Outlet Mall. service station as well as uh, a Kroger Superstore. So once we pass the Kroger store, uh, directly uh, north of that is one parcel of land that forms a triangle uh, that is also owned by the uh, same people that developed the uh, uh, Superstore. Oh. So right now the camera is pointed right at the, uh, the triangle area that I was referring to off the left. an idea back off here. Can we see the property? Yeah. Okay, right Just there. to come up, up here to the uh, past the wind piece again. Okay. We could have scanned those shops. Right. Yeah. 
This is going directly across from the... Uh, now, Terry, I'm going to let you pick up from here and uh, kind of give... Uh, okay, stop right here before we get on the, onto the highway, on the 400. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Okay, uh, the best thing to do is let's just pull off the edge because we're, we're, we'll... Um, right here? Yeah, just stop right about here. Just, there you go. Still get around you. All right, on the left-hand side of the highway, we're facing right now north on 400 to the left um, we're facing part of the property that we're talking about uh, that's cleared off over there uh, right now there's a uh, you'll see a, some uh, timber that's been piled up right there where it's been cleared off and then that's uh, sort of graded at that point on the left hand side directly across and you're about 14 miles from Dahlonega the property uh, starts just below, beyond the blinking uh, or that uh, sign that you see in the center of the picture, uh, it goes northward from that location all the way past the power lines that you see up ahead of you. That is a cleared off area that we've had cleared off, use some of the dirt to fill in another developer's uh, property adjacent to it. So that is on the property on the west hand side. Going north right now, uh, you'll see at the feet of that same section from an aerial view that was taken two years ago. This aerial view uh, doesn't even show the uh, items on the map right now, but the two entrances that were off of the Highway 453, the one going into Wendy's was approximately right in this area right there, about the Wendy's. The Kroger store uh, that we saw as we pulled in is in this section right here. See going across there, that uh, uh, Kroger store is that located right now at that point. The Wendy's is located right up in this area right here. Okay, across from Wendy's we saw Burger King. I mean, uh, um, the uh, Hardee's. The Hardee's. That's the Hardee's location. The Waffle House next to it, and then this area is the Kangaroo Store. There's an entrance that comes across that goes in behind it, and then you saw the frontage that you saw. The property that we just saw uh, to the corner. Uh, we were overlooking the, uh, the, beyond the Hardee's was this section right in here. That was that opening and that um, sign that we were talking about that opened the line going towards the uh, power lines, it starts right here. This is my property that starts at this point on the left hand side on the west side of 400. I don't know how much you'll see of this as it goes on the 400, it goes northward. And I'm off the map on this one, so uh, I'll adjust it in just a second. In a minute, I'm going to show you one other section before I go there. Over right here at this point where I'm pointing the uh, corner right now is the 55 mile an hour speed sign that you'll see that we talk about. The 55 mile an hour speed sign uh, is right at that corner. There's a wedge right here, if you'll notice, that uh, is owned by Johnson in the development of the Kroger. So this is an open section right here, comes at an angle. We come all the way back to this point real close to the Kroger site and back up this way. Okay, we're going to start from there. So the thing, we're going to go, now you're seeing a section, we're going to be going from that stop sign that we talked about that is located uh, approximately right there. We're going to go up about, a, that's uh, about 1,500 feet that I'm showing you right there along Highway 400, which is my property. And then, again, a little section in here is part of the extended 60-some uh, acres, making this 82 acres on the right-hand side. And this is Kylo Church Road, the intersection of Kylo Church Road and 400. Kylo Church Road then comes down this direction uh, that you probably cannot see yet until I adjust it again. Okay, here we're going through that intersection that we're just talking about uh, right above you would be Kylo Kirk Church Road, but if this is a 55 mile an hour speed sign we were talking about in the previous picture. The power lines as you see cross the highway. And we're coming up onto the 55 mile an hour sign. Okay, the, the uh, from this sign where the property starts, you can see where the uh, power lines cross the road and also cross the uh, uh, 20 plus acres that are on the uh, east side. Uh, just swing to the left here and you can see the topography of the west side of the 
Slow down. Slow down a little bit. Slow down. So that's part of the property there. Okay. Property ends. Property ends right now. Right, it's right now, okay. Right now, there it picks up behind that. The 62 acres comes all the way, picks up behind there and keeps on coming. Again. It starts again coming right up here. How about where? It comes right in right about, right beyond here. Right in here. Right about in here, it starts. And then it stops again before just short, the intersection. before the intersection, right about uh, in here. So in the intersection a, of the, uh, is this Kylo? This is Kylo Church Kylo Road. Kylo Church Road. And, and uh, right on the edge. Right. And it's actually frontage on Kylo Church Road now. Yeah. Let's point this out again where we're located. That turn at Kylo Church Road is right there at that location. We turned and made that corner and then was showing you the uh, new freshly laid pipes for the water lines that came down the uh, Kylo Church Road. As you see right here, this is part of the 62 acres, 63 acres section. It's additional that we have options on at the present time. Comes to here and then goes back down this way. Okay, the section on 400 that we just saw uh, when I said that was the end of the property was this point right here. So from this section, this little triangle right here is Mr. Stevens and that is the section that's out of that piece. And then the reason for picking up was pointing right here was the pickup piece of several hundred feet right there. And then this section right here is out for commercial purposes right there. So that's what we were seeing just a second ago. Uh, up at the top right there is Highway 9, 9E. This is Kylo Church crossing 453. And we turn in that uh, curve that just saw just a second ago as we come in. This is Kylo Church Road. Uh, on the right hand side is the freshly laid uh, uh, water lines and we're going to go down to that corner that we pointed out just a minute ago uh, where the property picks up on Kylo Church Road. There is a trailer over on this property. Uh, at this point uh, it is commercial but somebody's living on the on the uh, on the property in a trailer okay this is the property we're on the property now that the section we marked down against Kylo Church Road and you'll see the old roadbed that was being put in there for a high density uh, uh, area back in the mid 80s which never got it off of 400 and come along the side road here and the place we're standing right now is what appears to be a road that's been cut uh, back in here that that has uh, been abandoned it was done for high density residential uh, this project has been closed out because this property is uh, destined to be uh, uh, all commercial now again relative to the property the Kroger properties here this is the triangle that we said was left undeveloped coming off 400 it comes down property comes back out this way this way and the 20 acres plus are in here that uh, Cherry currently owns that I'm outlining the 60 acres actually start back in this area comes down through here back here and back to the road here uh, and I mentioned earlier or Cherry did earlier that there's road frontage here the only triangle he doesn't have is this triangle here this piece of property yeah, here part there though yeah. This property here is uh, currently owned by someone else. There's a trailer sitting on it now. Uh, this property here is about five acres or so and can also, uh, 4.19 acres it looks like, 4.9 acres and can also be uh, acquired. So essentially everything back this way, less this partial and this partial and this little partial here is what we're talking about. So there's two major partials. Okay. Okay. Now. Relative to here, were there any major construction here? I mean, any? Only that the uh, water line that you saw just a minute ago came down this road right here, crossed over here, and came down this way. Okay. And the water line also comes across here, going down this way, and it across this way. And this road continues all the way back to the lake. into the lake. Mm -hmm. And where does the water actually start here? Is that the water? Oh, there's water all along here. It's, water it's all on, back in here. Yeah. And then the major part of the lake on further. It's off the map. 